Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to be looking at how to create your skin shaders for your figures in Dash Studio. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we are in Dash Studio and before we get started with the skin shader tutorial, I just want to go over my setup very quickly. So I've got my preset light, which is the Dreamlight preset, which is the IRA Softlight 10K and I'm using this light here. And I've got my HD figure, which is Fergal HD. Uh, the reason why I chose this figure is because it's got very good skin textures and the only thing I did to the actual figure was a bit of morphs just to give it a bit more musculature. So it's got a bit more muscle basically, so that's about it. So let's get started with the figure and go through skin shading. So at the moment, if you look at the figure, the skin looks very dry, it's very rough. There's no gloss to it to give it that kind of meatiness to the, um, to the skin. So that's what we're gonna to do today. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna change the skin color, probably make it a bit more darker, a bit more tanned, shall we say as best as I can on the fly. And then we're gonna add some gloss to give you a bit more meatiness. So the first thing we gotta do is click on our figure. And then we're gonna go to surfaces and then we're gonna click Fergal here, Fergal HD, same as that one. Click there, click on this and expand that. And then we've got the three options. We've got nails by itself, we've got skin and we've got skin, lips and nails. So what I wanna do is I wanna do the skin first. Now the reason why I wanna do the skin first only is I don't want to change the lips or the nails because obviously people have the lip color of people are different is different to the skin and your nail color is different to the skin as well. So therefore I highly recommend you do the skin first and then you can individually do the nails and the lips and I'll show you how to do that afterwards. So the first thing we're gonna do is open this menu here and we've got a lot of options here as well, loads of options. Now we don't need to use all the options to maintain what we want to get to get our ideal skin. We're just, I'm just going to show you the kind of the basic fundamentals of what you need to do. Very, very easy, very simple. So the first thing we do is click on base. And the first thing we need to sort out is our base color, which is very, very important. So I'm going to open that and go to diffuse. In the diffuse section, the only options we need to worry about are, or be concerned with rather, is the translucency weight, the base color effect, and the translucency color, and the SSS reflectors tint when uh, that option becomes available. So the translucency weight basically is the amount of the translucency color. Now it's not exactly white because you can't see the map here, but the map here is obviously like this color here, kind of pinkish color. So the higher we put this, if I go to one, it's gonna turn all like ready pinky, brown, there you go. So it goes all brown. Now obviously if that's the look you're looking for, great. If that's not the looking for look you want to find, uh, you, wanna, you wanna do, then obviously um, put it back to normal and we can do it the more advanced way. So the first thing I like to do basically is I like to go to base color effect and change the scatter only to scatter and transmit. So with scatter and transmit, it gives us this extra option, SSS reflectance tint. Now what this does is if I change the color, say to green, you'll see the skin go a weird color. It'll be green. So what's happening is the tint is being reflected back is green from the skin. So what we do with this one is we normally use skin colors that are very saturated. So we're kind of looking around about here somewhere very, very saturated, something like there, and then that would give your effect. Now, obviously I wanna make the skin darker, so I need to change the translucency color. So I wanna do something like here, some kind of orange, yellow. So when we're doing skin colors, we want to find, for the translucency color, sorry, we wanna find as much of a skin tone kind of color as possible. So something like, that looks skin tone-ish. So something like this maybe. Okay, so that's made it a bit darker, which is great. Now I'm gonna do the SSS reflectors tint to make uh, the tint a bit darker. So I'm gonna try something a bit here, maybe a bit higher up and see what happens. Okay, so that's a bit too far. So I need to really decrease that down, probably here and probably bring the saturation down a bit as well. And bring that up a bit. Again, it's too high. So obviously I need to come down a bit. We're getting strange colors. And there we go. So obviously I could change the translucency color here. I could probably go a bit more higher. Let's see what happens, a bit more up and right. And there we go. So we're getting a bit more reddish color before it was all like white and didn't have much color in there. So we got a bit more color. I'm gonna go a bit more higher and see what happens. It's gonna be a bit more reddish. There we go. And then bring the SSS reflectance up a bit more um, and see what that looks like. So there we go. So we made it a bit more reddish. Um, probably wanted a bit more, less than that. See what happens. So that's gone too reddish. So that's not working for me. 
So there you can see, so basically you need to ideally play around with it. It's not a science based thing, really you need to uh, experiment with it. So I've made it a bit more reddish skin, really. I'm just going to put the actual SSF reflectors tint a bit bluish just to counteract. Uh, I want to counteract the reddish skin a bit. So I want to do blue and there, see what happens. See, there's a difference. So I've gone from my reddish skin back to my white because that's the opposite. So it's, it's getting rid of the red that was in the translucency and reflecting back the blue. That's not what I wanted. So I'm going to go back to my yellow here and we're going to stick with that kind of skin color there. So, okay, I'm happy with that skin. It looks a bit more tanned, which is great. So what do we do next? Okay, so we've learned how to do the base coloring for our figure there. And make sure you stay to the end of the video so I can show you how to save your skin shader so you can use it again and again on the different figures. Let's get back to the video. So the next option is here, over here, dual lobe specular weight. Sounds very fancy, I know, but isn't that fancy at all. Basically, it's a way of creating glossiness and roughness of the skin. So again, we've got the weight here. We've got the weight. So the remember the weight is the amount. So the higher I put it, the more glossy or rough it will be depending on what settings I do here. So the dual low specular reflectivity, reflectivity is you always leave that at 0 0.5. It's the ideal recommended uh, amount. I wouldn't really touch that. You don't need to touch that really, but if you want to experiment, you can. So basically the more higher you do it, if I do it now, the more effective it will be. So the skin gets very reflective. As you can see, you can see a bit more shine here, a bit more shine here, a bit more shine here. So generally I leave that at 0 0.5. I don't need to touch that. I don't touch that, but you can try that if you want to. So we've got specular lobe one roughness and specular lobe two roughness. So these are the settings for roughness. So the higher setting we do, the more rough the skin will look. So my general settings that I do are 0 0.5 and 0 0.3. Now, obviously I would change these if and when needed. And the dual low specular ratio is basically is the more higher the number is, the more it will go to lobe one. So if I put it to one, it's going to be more inclined to that setting 0 0.5. If I put it to more to zero, uh, it's going to be lobe two. It's going to go to lobe two. You'll see it starts getting glossy skin. There you go. It's a bit more glossy. So I normally leave this to some sort of setting like 0 0.7, which is pretty good. Now I'm happy with those settings and now what I would do now is actually change the dual low specular weight. So what I would do here is I would go higher and see what that looks like. So we'll try 0 0.8. And now you can see the gloss here. So you can see the gloss here, the gloss here, the gloss there. So it's more glossy. We've got more weight. Now I would probably go down a bit more because I don't, I don't like gloss, that much glossiness on my uh, figures. You might like it so you can go higher. So let's try 0 0.5, see what that looks like. So that doesn't look too bad. It's it's a bit more shinier, glossier. So that doesn't look too bad at all. Yep, I'm happy with that. But if you want to go higher with that, now you know how to do that. You can get more glossy skin. And the next thing we're going to do now is here we've, we've got glossy here. So glossy, as it says, is, as it says straight away, is glossy. So you want more glossy skin, go to the glossy section here. So it says here, glossy layered weight again, this is the amount. So what I normally do is I always start with one, like really high, and then I work my way down. Now, glossy roughness, again, it's the roughness. So it's when it says glossy roughness here, ignore that for a second. When it says glossy roughness here, uh, it says, it's basically mean the more high you do it, the more rough the skin will look. So I like to start off with 0 0.7. And again, here you've got glossy re reflectivity, and you'll see that the uh, reflectivity is will just if I'm do if I, generally 0 0.5 is a good number, but if you go higher, it will be more reflective. So you'll see the more reflectiveness of the glossiness. Now, obviously, when you do the glossiness, you'll see that the skin turns white again, and it really does affect uh, how much glossiness you do to the skin. So you got to be very careful with the skin, uh, with the glossiness. Sorry, and make sure that the glossiness isn't too high, otherwise your skin will go back down to, you know, will lose the color basically that you did in the base color. And then you'll have to go back with it, back to the base color and put it back up again. So this is why we leave the re reflectivity on 0 0.5. And now I'm gonna put my glossy weight down. And generally with the glossy layered weight, you wanna put it a different color, a different setting, sorry, to the dual low specular weight. So I did 0 0.5 for this. I don't want 0 0.5 for the glossy as well. That doesn't make any sense. 
So you either want it lower or higher than 0 0.5. So 0 0.3, we'll try 0 0.3 and see how that looks. How does that look? Looks, looks about the same. So what I can do, the glossy roughness, I can put that down to 0 0.5. And now we've got the glossiness here as well. So there we go, that's our glossiness, our glossy roughness, and it looks really good actually, it doesn't look too bad. I'm a bit picky, I might go 0 0.6 or 0 0.55. You can really go as much detail as you want to, and that looks very good. Now say for example, you wanted to, and that's all you really need to do really, there's only two settings, which is the dual low specular weight, the glossiness, the glossy setting, and the actual diffuse setting of the colors. So if I wanted to, for example, say, oh, I don't like, I want my skin to be a bit more darker, I can actually go up a bit more and say, let's go about there and see how that looks. There we go. And I could bring my reflectors tint up a bit more, so maybe a bit more yellow. And there we go. So we can go, we can always go back and change these, these settings as and when you need to. So there you go, we've got a bit more bronze look, a bit more tan look, shall we say, and a bit more glossy skin, looks very, very good. Okay, so say for example, you've done the skin and everything and you want to do lips now, just the lips by itself. So we can close the skin and over here we've got surfaces. So we can click on surfaces here and this gives you all the surfaces of your figure. So we've got the arms, the cornea. I mean, literally there's loads of surfaces in here. And the one we're interested in is the lips. So here's lips. And then we expand the lips and it's exactly the same settings that we had for the skin. So you've got the base and then you've got the... Um, the dual low specular, you've got the glossy. So it's all the settings are the same there and you just need to go in and change them. So for example, if I went to diffuse, uh, with the diffuse, you can see the actual maps here. So these are the texture maps. So this is the actual texture map they use for the lips. So, so these are the texture maps here and a texture map there as well. Again, I would use scatter and transmit. And then we can really, really go into detail of how much we want to do the lips. So. I think the lips are all right as they are at the moment, but we can go ahead and play around with that. So let's say we wanted a bit more, I don't know, bronze type lips. Actually, we'll go, yeah, we'll go bronze type lips again. See the color, there you go. It's got more pinkish there. It's got a bit more pinkish. And to counteract that pinkish, we're just gonna move it up a bit more here. The SSS reflectors tint. And it's got a bit more red. So there you go. So that's how you can change the lips as well by itself. So you can go to the individual bits, the fingernails, if you want to change it, the irises, the legs, whatever you want to do. So that's really the basics on how you can change the skin shader. Very, very simple, very, very effective method of, of enhancing the existing skin on a figure that you already have. Now, one more thing before you leave, I want to show you how you can save these settings. So obviously, what's the point of creating excellent, awesome skin when you can't use your other figures? So I want to show you how to do that as well. So what we need to do is we need to make sure our figure is selected. And we go to file, we go to save as, we go to material preset. Um, I'll give it a name, I'll give it bronze skin. Bronze skin. I'm going to press save. Now, before you press accept, do not press accept here. What you need to do is go to this section here, click on that. And you want to go to uncheck, uncheck all images. So what that does is, you know these maps here? When it saves the preset, it won't save the maps. And that means you can apply it to any figure you have and it will be the exactly same settings for that figure as well. So I'll show you how that works. So I want to do uh, accept there and that saved it. So where has it saved it to? So it saved it to your smart content tab. So you got smart content, we go to save files and we go to presets and here's my presets. So I've done one here already, the dark skin, which is the same dark skin that I did in the thumbnail. So I'm going to double click this and the dark skin will come on straight away. There it is. My dark skin on straight away and there you go. So if I go back to the bronze skin that we just did here, there we go, my bronze skin is there. So now you know how to save as well. So how you, how you can create these really, really cool uh, RA shader effects and how we can save them as well so you can reuse them again and again. Okay, so I hope you found that video very helpful on how you can change the skin tone and the colors for your figures in Dash Studio. Remember, it's the base color, it's the uh, dual of specular weight, and it's the glossiness that will give you the awesome skin that you want for your figures. Now, if you have any comments, leave them down below. And if you want to, might want to check out these videos over here, so they may be helpful as well. Hit the subscribe button over there. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in next week's video.